All right, so now what I'd like to go and talk to you guys about is transformations, right? So to go through a transformation, the best thing I'm going to talk about is going through on quadratic. Now, when we were graphing quadratic functions, a lot of times instead of using standard form, we wanted to use the vertex form. If you guys remember, it was y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Right? Yep, and then you could say, oh, shift left, shift right, shift up, shift down, um, reflect x axis, <laughs> reflect y axis, and so forth. Now, there's a general. There's a general process for all functions. And what I want, and the whole purpose of this is in algebra two, we focused on just the quadratic. But what we're going to be doing looking in this class is really for that family of functions, the, um, what we do to our function is going to go across all of our functions um, for quadratic or exponential. Now, exponential, we really do it kind of the same way. We just kind of use a little bit different h and k's, but um, we can just rewrite this. Actually, let me, we're going to talk about functions, so let me just write this as f of x. So there's four. This could be f of x equals b plus or minus a to the x plus c. Okay? And now you're like, oh, well, remember h, h always does left and right, k does up and down. Hey, guys, it doesn't really matter what the name of the letter is. And I'm even going to go with it a step further. And I'm going to say f of x equals x, and we'll talk about each one. All right, so in a general function, we have f of x equals x. Right? All right. So let's look at um, the first one. And let's say we have f of x equals x plus c. If I have f of x plus c, does anybody remember when you have something added inside the function, what are you doing? What are you doing to your quadratic? So let me go and give you an example. What about if I had f of x equals x plus h squared? So what if my function just looked like that? What am I going to be doing? Does anybody remember? Shift anywhere, you were reflecting, dilation. Does anybody remember? What is x plus h? What is that going to tell you to do? Anybody? Ooh, nobody remembers. You're going to be sliding or shifting. You guys need me to put in numbers? f of x equals x plus 1 squared. Does anybody know what you do with that quadratic? Close. You are shifting. Um, however, when, it's, when you're adding inside the function, this is going to be a shift horizontally. Okay. So if you're adding, do you remember though what you do for adding? Because you had it down. You had it right. It was positive. So instead of going up, you said go down. But when we're doing horizontally, yeah, that's when we're going left, right. So this is actually going to be a, a horizontal shift. All right. So, so this would be a horizontal shift to the left. So how is it going to look in an exponential function? So you could say f of x equals a to the x plus c. So if you guys want me to give me an example like I did, um, Here's f of x. So if we had a quadratic that looked like f of x equals x plus 2 squared, f of x equals a to the x plus 2. Or I don't know. It doesn't matter what the base. We'll use a base going through. So all I want you guys to understand is that's an example now of a problem that's going to be shifted to the left. OK? So this is a horizontal shift to the left. So does anybody remember what a horizontal shift to the right would be then? You'd have to do yeah. subtract. Yeah, there you go. So guess what? It doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen, what the function is. It does not matter what the function is. If you are subtracting a value inside of the function, then you're going to be shifting it to the left. So in quadratics, we add f of x equals x minus 2 squared, right? And for my exponential, then that could just look like this. f of x equals 3 to the x minus 2. So if I give you a function 3 to the x minus 2 and I say, hey, what's the transformation? You know, oh, well, since I'm minus, subtracting the 2 inside the function, I'm going to shift my graph two units to the right. Does that, does that kind of make a little sense? 
Okay. So this would be a horizontal shift to the right. Okay. So those are your horizontal shifts. And then I'll just continue on with some, uh, some other ones just to keep it broken down.